What? So you met him in your VR before all of this? <sighs> yeah. I thought he was just some random person online, but once we got stuck here, I realized everything he said was the truth. That's why he was so specific when he was talking to you. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's, it's all my fault. No, no it's not. You didn't know. Besides, whatever he had planned would have fell through regardless of if you met him or not. I mean, he trapped us in the internet. He had this planned out from the beginning. I, I guess you're right. So, you're left, Cody. I know. I, I just don't think I'm ready for it. Why not? Is it something bad? I mean, yeah, it's... All of you would just say it's not that big of a deal. Man, I really feel like I messed them up. I just wanted to help. I mean, I can see they want to be better. Like, they want to do better. But how can I help them if I'm not human? How to be human. Step one. Hmm. I call them children of the internet. And I'm a child of the internet myself. <laughs> I think it'd be better if I just try and find us a way out. Dude, we just went through this with ourselves. We can get through this together. Just take a moment and let us know. It's not that simple. Bro, what is all of this? Oof. It's probably UTP. Cody, you know you're good enough. Please don't start that. But I don't want to hear it. Cody, just talk to us. Don't worry about him. I don't want to talk about this, okay? Why do these things keep popping up? Cody. I don't need your help. I, I, I don't know. I don't like me. I can't stand to see myself in the mirror. I wish I could look different. I wish I could be different. You know what it's like to feel uncomfortable in your own skin? You know what it's like to feel like you're not good enough? Well, I do. I don't get the girls or have style like Bryce does. I don't know what it feels like to be wanted, man. You are wanted, Cody. See, you're not getting it. This is why I don't want to talk about it. Because you guys just want to make it better when it can't be better. I live a lie. All of the technology around me. Yeah, I can create a living square, build a server, buy crypto, jailbreak a phone but what is all that worth when i don't love myself huh what what is it worth when i i've never felt like i'm good enough you guys get all the attention on socials all the likes all the retweets all the love and support and <laughs> and I, I don't get nothing bro none of that social media stuff matters it matters when people treat cody like he doesn't exist because for all real purposes, he doesn't. But you do, bro. You're as real as can be. Cody hates everything about Cody and none of the positive affirmation stuff is going to fix it. Cody, just calm down. We can talk with you about it. It's okay. It's not okay. I'm chubby. I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way my face looks. Cody! We love you, bro. For real. We got you, bro. Till the end. Hey, y'all. I was just... Whoa! What happened to Cody? It's you. You did all of this. That's what I just came back for. Look, I understand I went about this the wrong way. I'm going to send you guys back. I... Creator! Oh, no. No, 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 no. What happened? How? <sighs> you was what happened. You were in a sensitive moment and you walked the internet briefly. I was trying to see you guys back and you struck me with that internet lightning. What? 
Why, why am I still here? And where, where, where are my friends? Where's A Square? He sent them to the dark web by accident. What? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Cataloging information as always. It's always intriguing to see internet lightning strike. Nah, it's better when you hear someone call out for change, especially when they want to change themselves. No, the best is when someone struggles for control. They become desperate and aim to be more controlling. Oh, so this must be a good old family reunion. Dude, you're making jokes and you lost my friends. Just pointing out these three are in the same place is all. Whatever. Pestimo, can you take me to my friends? It's possible, but in your current mental state you could destroy them or yourself within the dark web. <laughs> what? H how? The deeper you get into the internet, the more fragile your form becomes. Emotions are critical in the fifth dimension. They can make or break information here. The deeper you go, the more powerful they get. A simple outburst here is one thing, but down there, it can eviscerate a whole city. I can send you there, but if you don't fix your inner self, then it could be a lost cause sending you there. It would just lead to so much lost information. Then how can I fix my inner self? A few years of therapy, maybe a formal talk with someone with experience. I don't have that type of time. Yes, take control of your destiny. Empower yourself your way. Or just change your self-support. How? Be someone different. It helps me. Living a lie won't help you. You have pretty much have already done that. Then what do I do? That's something no one can answer here but you. I don't know what I want to do though. You clearly have things on your mind. Speak it out to an individual. Who though? Wait. Apestimo, you said the internet is connected to parallel universes, right? Correct. Well, can you bring a version of me that has gotten through all of this? All of this negativity? I can. Okay, let's do that. If anyone can understand me, it's me. You realize he's not the only one that needs to have an intervention. Who? Oh. oh. No, he's referring to one of my mini faces. Oh, well, you said it. I did. Of course they're referring to you. Get up. Take control of the situation you've created. Our interactions, this rehabilitation, all of us being right here now is because of you. You've lost control of the very idea you committed to. Take back charge. You're... you're right. Whoa, didn't think I'd see any of you guys again. How's it been? I can't complain, darling. Eh, you know me, Spark. Same day, new persona. And you, Biggie? As overindulged in information as ever. <laughs> nice, nice. That's me, right? Bingo. What's going on? I... I... <sighs> I get it. You need someone to help you get out of where you feel mentally, right? All right. This might not be the thing you want to hear, but I can't help you in the sense of how you want to be helped. I was stuck in the fourth dimension facing off with myself for hours on end until I got it right. Huh? So you guys went there too? Yeah. Angel wanted to get out more than anything. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. But that's what the fourth dimension is like for regular people. To face our fears, our binds, our hatred, ourselves, the real us. The internet is the perfect playground for change. See, you have a spirit inside of you. We all do. The best way to change is with the involvement of your environment. The spirit essentially works at its best when it's interacting with others. What I'm getting at is the internet or for better terms, the fifth dimension is the culmination of all living things, thoughts, emotions, feelings, pretty much a super experience of interconnections. 
The physical world is the domain where you act accordingly. Yes, you can change in the physical world, but the true change comes when the self-accusing spirit knows its purpose. What? What is your purpose, Cody? What do you want? I want to know what it's like to be normal. To, to not avoid mirrors. To actually love myself and just feel comfortable in my own skin. Instead of feeling so odd. Normality doesn't exist. Everything to ever exist moves on its own accord. You know, there's not a single baby that took the exact same steps as the ones before them or after them. And self-love, self-love comes from within. That takes time. It's a grueling process, but if you want it, you have to go for it. On your best days and your worst. Why can't it be instant? Why do I have to push myself to suffer through all this? I don't really have a good answer for you. It's for you. So you have to act on it. You want better, then you have to work to be better. You have days when you slip up. I do all the time. The thing is, you have to get back up if you fall. Never let one misstep make your mood for the rest of your life. It's just not fair that I've always felt this way. Like, why can't I have the women looking at me and wanting me? Why do I get my feelings hurt at every turn? Why am I short? Again, I can't give you a good answer on that. I like to think of it like this. As living beings, we're all dealt a hand. Good, bad, or indifferent. We have a select of cards that we have to play. Some people are born with the short end of the stick. Other people are born with a full house. Either way, you have to maneuver with what you got. Changing your appearance won't change who you are. Trust me. Ask UTP. He'll tell you. He's the reason all this went left in the first place. He's also the reason why each of you are facing who you really are. You guys could have walked through life in a deluded mindset, not knowing that you had parts of you that you could grow. Regardless of his intent, he got you there. He got me where though? I'm alone. My friends are gone and I'm still unsure about all of this. He got you to start the conversation about what you've been hiding. Trust me, we probably wouldn't have gotten there without him. I mean, before I came here, I had 20 fake pages I made to like my own posts on social media. I would live in this lie that I had fans and friends on the internet that never existed. And I'm sure you did too. Being more comfortable with who I am and valuing the life I have, I promise you're gonna get there. Just trust the process. Listen, you're not alone. You never were and you never will be. I might be a different version of you, but you need to know that I love you. One day you're going to look back in the mirror and tell yourself that. And maybe one day you'll get called back here to tell a parallel version of ourselves the same thing. You got this. I think you're ready. Get them back and get home. Hello, Cody. Is that A-square? Yeah, he's been around pretty much since I created his code. I made him three-dimensional so he could interact with more things that his two-dimensional self couldn't. So, did you just leave him here? Sort of. He has access to my phone and other devices, but I let him do whatever he wants. I want him to have nothing more than to be free. Huh? Yeah. Anyways, good luck, Cody. Alright, I think I'm ready to go to the dark web. It seems so. Just a reminder. Your emotions will be fairly heavier. Be focused and don't let anything stir you from your goal, no matter what may lie there. Got it. Ah, oh, so sweet to see you gain an attachment to the kid. Be ready. I'm just 
looking for my friends. You are with those others. Just leave. Where did you go? I, I'm just... Wait, no, no, no!